So for this, uh, for today lesson, uh, we will uh, enter new topic, which is a uh, periodic table. So I have divide this uh, topic into two, uh, which is the first one is the classification of elements in periodic table. The second one is uh, we will discuss about the periodicity. So for today's lesson, I will cover only classification of elements in periodic table. Okay, first question. If two elements belong to the same what? The same group. Uh, if two elements belongs to the same group. Boleh tak awak bagi saya dua elements? That belongs to the same group. Symbol je. Symbol pun tak apa. Kalau tahu symbol lah. Kalau nak tulis nama penuh. Tulis lah nama penuh. Lina. Lina. Nali. Nak. 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 <laughs> Hene, 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 same group. Oh, okay. H, H, E, hydrogen dengan helium. <laughs> hydrogen dengan helium bukan satu group. Okay, dah eh? Ha, betul lah tu. Kecuali helium dengan hydrogen tu. That one not in the same group. Okay. Why you said those two elements are belongs to the same group? Give me your reason. Bo, yelah tahu. Kenapa? Apa reason yang has similar properties? Same valence, electrons. Hmm. Okay, so the most correct answer is uh, they have the same number of electrons in the outer. Outer apa ni? Hakimi. Tak habis. Tak nampak lah. Auto apa? Auto motion lah. Okay, boleh juga. Same number of valence electron. Betul. Okay, edge valence. Edge valence. Anis. Edge valence VA. Anis. The same number of valence electron. Okay, betul. Next. Okay, give two elements that, that belongs to the same period. Nah, kalau same period, siapa? Hmm, okay. Good. So, semua. Okay, kenapa? Give your reason. Same number of cell. Same number of cell. Okay, betul. Same number of cell. Same number of orbital, salah. The same number of cell. Same amount of cell. So, okay, good. Semua orang betul. The same number of Share. Okay. So, since that you all semua dah belajar uh, classification of elements in the periodic table, in your SPM level. So, yang mana yang you belajar eh? Uh, classification of uh, group and period je kan? Betul tak? You all belajar dulu. Ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, dulu uh, dia punya tu je lah kan? Okay, macam mana ya dulu you all classify macam mana you all tahu dia punya uh, period dengan group? Uh, ah, yeah, ya tahu. Uh, means that macam mana you all macam mana you all tahu shell dia berapa, valence electron dia berapa? Oh, maksudnya nak oh, maksudnya uh, tengok pada periodic table. Maksudnya dah ada periodic table, rujuk kat situ. Ke apa? Oh, rujuk macam tu je. Oh, maksudnya bat Baca periodic table lah. Is that you you tentukan 
you tentukan uh, period dengan group dia uh, daripada periodic table lah betul uh, okay so uh, it is a little bit different in your matriculation level so sekarang ni lain sikit lah kita akan classify elements into period ya yeah, you dah belajar sebelum ni dah tahulah period tu yang mana and then the block block you all tak belajar lagi so kita akan discuss uh, lepas ni and group yang ni pun you all dah belajar tapi kita tak tengok pada periodic table kita akan gunakan electronic configuration okay so in this periodic table of elements okay which is the uh, in this periodic table which part that represent the group yang mana top ah the top lah okay the top the number at the top here kan So, this number represent the group of elements. So, number ni group 1 means that all of this column are element in group 1. Ha, ni semua orang tahu kan? You ada belajar dulu kan? So, we have total 18 group. Okay, kita ada total 18 group. So, ni pun you all semua dah tahu. Okay, how about period? Ah, kalau Uh, kalau period kita kena baca melintang lah kan horizontally okay so this is the period so total period we have seven period okay we have total seven period okay how about block which part of this periodic table represent the block yang ni kita baru nak belajar lah okay actually we have uh, four types of block we have S block P block D block and F block. SPDF. Okay, so the element that belongs to the S block is group 1 and group 2 element. So, all group 1 and group 2 element here uh, belongs to the S block. Okay. And then starting uh, group 13 until 18. So, all of the elements of group 13 to 18 uh, belongs to the P block. Okay, and then all elements in group 3 until 12, okay, okay, in the middle here, is belongs to the D block, and then the lanton, lantanoid and actinoid series here, all are belongs to the F block. Okay, so if I have This electronic configuration. I will show you one example. They say this is the element P to S2 to P6 3S2 3P6. So how do I determine the uh, period block and group of this Uh, element. So let's say kita ada this electronic configuration. So first we need to determine the block first. Okay, I will determine the block. Okay, uh, we can see here the last electron are added to 3p orbital. Tahu tak? Kat sini. Last electron is added to 3p orbital. So means that The block of this element is block P. And then, to determine the uh, period and group, you need to know the valence electronic configuration first. So, the valence electronic configuration, okay. The valence electronic configuration is depends on block. Okay, if you have S block, means that the valence electronic configuration is an S. Okay, where N here is the highest value of N. Okay, the N here is the highest value of N. Okay, if Our element belongs to the P block, like this example. The valence electronic configuration is in NS and NP. So, let's say 
In this example, our highest value of n is equals to highest value of n is equals to 3, right? Betul tak? Betul. Okay. So, the highest value of n for this example is 3. So, means that our valence electronic configuration is 3s2 and 3p6. Kan? Betul tak? Ha, ni contoh yang ni lah. Okay, and then if D block, the valence electronic configuration is N, S, N, N minus 1, D. Okay, for D block element. So, nanti saya tengok contoh-contoh lah. <laughs> okay, so let's say this one is a P block element. So, the valence electronic configuration is N, S, N, N, P. So, since the highest N is 3, so means that the valence electronic configuration for this element is 3S2 and 3P6. So, the period is, okay, refer to the highest, uh, refer to the number of shell here. Kalau you nampak ada berapa shell, okay, highest N dia berapa? Highest N dia berapa? Okay. Highest N dia berapa? 3 kan? So, means that this uh, element are in period 3. Okay, group. Okay, group. How many valence electron? 2 plus 6 berapa? Uh, group macam biasalah. Depends pada number of valence electron kan? Ada 8. So, but right now, kalau kita tengok block P. Kalau... You tengok pada block P. Okay, if you let, look at block P, ada tak group A? Tengok group P. Block P kat sini, ada tak? Tak ada. So, dia group berapa? Ah, yang mana satu? Okay, dia jadi block or group 18. Okay, kenapa kita kata dia jadi 18? Sebab daripada satu nak ke, uh, daripada S block, Nak ke P block It is divided by D block kan Tahu tak Tak ada D block kat sini So how many group in D block Cuba tengok Ada berapa total group Dalam D block element 10 kan okay, That's why kita tambah 10 Kepada kita punya valence Elektron So dia akan jadi 80 so, dia akan jadi grup ya, 18, betul. Jadi grup 18 untuk uh, this element lah sebab dia block P. Okay, kita tengok uh, kita tengok yang ada S, ada tak S? S, S, uh, D. Okay, let's say I have this element. Okay, I have this element. 1s2, 2s1. So, the block is Okay, S. Uh, the valence electronic configuration. Kalau S, you know. Ah, uh, 2s lah. So, 2s. So, period. 2s1. Period. 2 group uh, 1 betul the logic here kalau kita tengok balik periodic table block S ada dua group je 1 and 2 ok kalau ada tak yang D ada D kalau D eh kalau saya tunjuk kalau yang ada D let's say saya ada S element 1 S 2 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D3. Okay. So this one, the block is but last added to D uh, orbital. So the block is D. So kalau D block, the valence electronic configuration is highest end. Berapa kat sini? 
Nampak kan? 4S2 And then N minus 1D 3D3 Okay so What is the period For this element? Ah, Kalau element ni macam mana kita ada 4 Kita ada 3 which one is highest? Oh means that the period is 4 And then the group Ah, group berapa? Tengok valence elektron dia ada berapa? Ah, lima. Betul, lima. Okay, dua tambah tiga. So, lima. Okay, any question? Ada soalan? Ya. Yeah. Yang mana? Ah, ni. Ni, valence dia ada berapa? 6 tambah 2 kan? 6 tambah 2 sama dengan berapa? 8. Valence dia ada 8. Tapi kenapa jadi group 18? Sebab antara blok S tadi dengan blok P. Ha, kita tahu ni blok P kan? Ni blok S. Okay, dipisahkan oleh D blok. Dalam D blok ni ada 10 group. Ada sepuluh group. So, sini satu. Sini, eh eh. Sini satu dua. Satu dua kat sini. So, ni tiga sampai dua belas lah. So, dia akan sambung pula dekat P block. Ha, sebab tu kita kena tambah sepuluh. Faham? Faham juga. Dapat lagi. Bukan. Dia daripada S block. Okay. Awak ada D block tengah-tengah ni kan. Pasal baru awak ada P block tu. Tak tak? Betul tak ni? Sini kat rupa dia kan? Okay. Kat sini kan starting group 1, group 2 tu. 3 sampai 12 dekat sini. Okay. Lepas tu sini sambung 13 sampai 18. Okay. So sekarang ni kenapa awak ada sekarang ni awak punya elemen berada pada P block. P block with 8 valence electron. Okay. Valence electron awak kat sini yang ni 3 sampai 8. Ah, ni valence. Ni number of valence electron. Kat sekali tu pula. Yang ni group. So yang ini ada satu. Ah, ni satu. Eh tak boleh tulis. Yang ini valence electron dia ikut lah. Satu dua kan. Okay kat sini tiga empat sampai dua belas. Kat sini tiga belas okay. Okay, sini dah 3 valence sampai 12 valence. Lepas tu dia jadi 3 balik sampai 8. Okay, sekarang ni ini P block. Okay, sekarang ni antara P block dengan D block dipisahkan oleh berapa group of D, of D, of D block element. Ada berapa group dalam ni? Daripada group 3 sampai group 12. Ada berapa? La ilaha illallah. Sebab itulah kita kena tambah 10. Ya Allah. Cuba awak kira eh. Kalau saya kata sini ada 3 valence. So ni kat sini dia mesti duduk dekat P block. Sini group berapa? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eh, salah kira. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, Sekejap saya tulis lelok. Tak, tak faham pula. Eh, tulis sampai 12 ni. Eh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ha, kat sini. Okay, kita nak pergi ke sini. Kita tahu ini ada 3 valence. Sehingga 8 kan. Okay, ni 3. Dia ada 3 valence tapi dia dekat P block. Dia tak boleh duduk kat sini sebab dia P block. Dia tak boleh duduk dekat D block. 
Okay, walaupun dia lens elektron dia sama. Okay, tapi blok dia berbeza. Tak boleh. So, dia kena duduk sini. Nak duduk sini, grup dia berapa? Cuba tengok. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, dia jadi grup 13. Faham? Kenapa dia jadi grup 13? Ha. Kenapa tak boleh jadi grup 3? Sebab dia adalah P blok elemen. Dia bukan D blok. Okey, kenapa 13? Ha, kenapa 13? Kalau ikut susunan ni, kenapa yang ni 13? Kenapa tak boleh terus 1, 2, 3? Ha, ni 1, ni 2, sini 3. Kenapa sini tak boleh 3? Ha, kenapa mesti sini 1, 2, ha, 3, 13 sini? Kenapa? Ah, kalau pada belah kena 13. So, antara S dengan P dipisahkan oleh 10 group of D block element. So, nanti kita tambah je 10 kat situ. So, kalau kat sini 3, kalau tiba-tiba sebelah dia ada 4 electron valence kan? Boleh tak dia jadi group 4? Ha. Boleh tak dia jadi group 4? Ha, tak apa dia 10. So, dia jadi grup 14. Kalau ada 5. Kalau ada 5. Kalau ada 5, dia jadi grup. 15. Kalau ada 6, dia jadi grup. 16 kan? Kalau ada 7 valent, dia jadi grup. 17. Okey. Kalau 8, dia jadi grup. 18. Betullah. Ha, kita tak cakap dia grup Walaupun ni sama kan Ni tujuh Sini pun tujuh Kenapa dia tak boleh jadi grup yang sama Tak boleh sebab Ini P block element Ini D block element ha, Walaupun valence elektron dia sama Tapi block dia berbeza Sebab elektronik configuration dia berbeza Faham? Faham tak? Nak tunjuk contoh yang sama. Okey, contoh eh. Kalau kita ada uh, apa yang sama eh. Kalau saya ada 1S2. 2S2. Valence elektron dia sama tapi grup dia berbeza. Okey, saya tunjuk eh. 1S2. 2P1. Okey, 2P1. Okey. Satu lagi, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D1. Okay. So, kita tentukan dulu block for this element. Okay. Kalau ni, let's say ni X, ini Y. Okay. Element X. Block dia apa? Kan? Okay. Uh, valence electronic configuration dia? Yang mana? Hmm, 2S2 dengan 2P1. Sebab dia P block kan? Nah, dia mesti including uh, the P orbital lah. So, P rate dia berapa ni? Pilih apa? Ha, dua. Okey, betul. Siap je lah kan. Okey, group. Ha, tiga ke tiga belas? Ha, ni group tiga belas. Walaupun dia ada, balance elektron dia ada tiga. Balance elektron. Ada tiga. Okey. Yang ni pula, yang bawah ni pula apa? Blok D. Period. Okey, nak tengok period, tengok valence electronic configuration untuk D. NS dengan D kan? 
Ah, yun na. And then, hindi yan eh. Ito. Ah, ah, dito. Sumpay, dito. So, group. Tiga lah. Ah, balance dia ada berapa? Ada? Tiga. Okay, you nampak tak? Balance elektron sama. Tapi group berbeza sebab blok dia berbeza. Yang ni blok P, yang ni blok D. X blok P, Y blok D. That's why uh, X group 30, uh, Y group 3. Faham? Faham tak? Faham. Yang lain? Ada soalan? Kalau tak ada soalan, saya nak tanya soalan. D. Salah. Paling last. Awak tengok last elektron. Haa. P. Okey. Block P. Okey. So valence. Awak tengok haa. Block P formula dia apa tadi? N dengan S dengan P kan? N F dengan N P. Okey. Highest N kita berapa kat sini? Highest N. Highest value of N. Cuba tengok. Highest value of principal quantum number berapa? Empat kan? So. Kita punya valence electronic configuration apa? Okay, part as dua. Okay, betul. Ha, kita fokus pada dua ni je. Dua orbital ni je. So, this is your valence electron. Okay, so period. Part. Okay, good. And then group. Okay, betul. 